Metal detector! I am in Toronto, staying at the house of a couple of friends who are away on vacation, enjoying perfect silence and no human interaction for a few days. So while I'm here, however, I have discovered that I am staying due north, though a considerable distance due north, of the Scarborough Bluffs, which just so happened to show up a while back when I googled metal detecting locations in Ontario sometime after I got my little metal detector here. And apparently there's a beach or a couple of beaches down at the Scarborough Bluffs where you can go metal detecting. So that's where I'm about to head now. I've never been to the Scarborough Bluffs. The only reason I actually know about them is as a Toronto paramedic, I know that people are always falling off of those cliffs there. Myself, I very rarely worked this far east in the city. So this will be my first time heading to the bluffs there, heading to the beach, and seeing what I can find. Now, the temperatures today with the humidity are apparently going up to 40 degrees Celsius, which for those who use nonsensical measurement systems is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've packed a ton of sunscreen and some water, and I am a heat lover. I would much rather be hot than cold. I hate being cold. So it's not such a huge deal for me. I'll just go down there, have some fun, see if I can find anything. Two minutes later, the instant I stepped out of the house, it started to rain. And then as I was getting my car loaded up and pulled the camera out, it stopped raining and the sun came out. Now I am also a considerable distance away from the beach where I am now. So we'll see what the weather is down there when we get there. Also, I put my glasses on and stepped outside and they immediately fogged up due to the incredible heat and humidity that's going on out here. So we'll just go have a look around, see what happens. All right, I've got myself situated just by the water here at the beach. Behind me are those Scarborough Bluffs that apparently people are falling off of all the time. And this is rather a large beach area here. So, got lots of space to wander around and see if I can detect some metal. It is hot. Just walking down here, I'm pouring with sweat. So, I might end up in the water fairly soon too. Let's see what happens. And there goes the ambulance helicopter right behind me. I'm not exactly sure if it's heading for this area or not. But anyways, I've been finding some garbage so far. And I keep getting hits, but not really finding what it's hitting on. So that's been kind of frustrating. I'll keep going, see what I'm doing wrong. I was so dehydrated and overheated when I got home. I spent a full two and a half hours on the beach detecting. I did take a couple of dips into the lake. And here's how much of a wimp I am when it comes to the cold. Even though I was just dripping with sweat on this sweltering day, I was still worried about getting into the cold lake water and it took me a little while to kind of work my way into it, but it was certainly refreshing when I was in there. I also made a fairly lengthy stop on the way home at a board game place called Board Game Bliss, where I found a few more treasures, but rather than get sidetracked in this video talking about board games, I will wait until I do my video for games acquired and purchased in the month of July, and then I'll talk about the stuff I found at Board Game Bliss. So let's stay on track here with what I found at the Scarborough Bluffs Beach. I spent most of that two and a half hours right at the waterline thinking that if there were any coins or perhaps even a ring to be found that being kind of at the water would be the place to find it. Unfortunately, I still found more bottle caps than anything else. I guess the a-holes that are drinking at the beach and chucking their garbage away are just throwing their bottle caps into the lake. So I did, however, find a couple of coins, which I'll show you in a minute. Mostly though, I ended up pulling a lot of metal garbage out of the beach, which is obviously a good thing. I'm taking stuff out of the sand that people don't want to be stepping on. For instance, my larger thing here, and by the way, I did take the time to take photographs of everything so that I wouldn't have to try to get this position in front of the camera and wait for it to focus and all that. But this first thing here appears to be 
part of some fireworks. Similarly, I did pull out another quite large metal piece from the sand. No idea what that is really. And then the other larger thing I found was this tent peg. So the nice thing about this is that I am missing a couple of tent pegs in my own tent. So I'll just go ahead and keep that for my own personal use. Carrying on with the other bits of metal garbage, I have this small piece of who knows what. And then similarly, there's this little gray and white thing, which it looks like a rock. But it was definitely registering on the metal detector so I really have no idea what it is and speaking of weird stuff that I don't know what it is there's also this little thing which I thought was a stone and couldn't figure out why it was registering on the metal detector and then when I cleaned it off it just looked like a piece of glass but it wasn't until I got it home and got it all washed off that I realized that there are thin metal rods kind of crossed at right angles with each other in the middle of this thing which is either a clear plastic or a glass. I also have just this little wee safety pin and then another sort of larger piece of aluminum and it appears that somebody's cut out the bottom of an aluminum can. I'm not sure exactly why. Now on the topic of the beer bottles we got all the bottle caps. There's this fairly shiny new looking cap from a Stella Artois bottle which I mean of all the incredible beer that's available from Belgium you're gonna drink Stella? Come on you need to try out some real Belgian beers but hey don't, <laughs> not here to be a beer snob and judge people's choices. Uh, the other one here that's in quite good condition, must be quite fresh, is this bottle cap from a blonde beer. I didn't look it up, but it looks like it could have maybe come from a left blonde, which is actually quite a nice little Belgian beer. My personal everyday drinking favorite was Laf Brune back when I could still drink beer. So this could be a Laf Blonde or some other kind of blonde ale, I would imagine. And then we get to a few that I don't recognize. There's this red one here that I think has an ST on it or something. I'm not sure what that has come from. There's another one here that has a red star in it that, again, I didn't look it up, but I don't know if that's the Heineken logo. And there's another here that's quite rusted that has a similar green background with some red poking through that I don't recognize just because of how much rust is on there. But it's a similar deal, and it's the last of the five bottle caps that I unearthed. And then the last two things, I was excited to find these because I finally found a couple of coins. Although they are the exact same size, they weren't found exactly together. And as you can see, they are very rusted over. There wasn't really anything to make out on the face of them. But when I took out a regular Canadian quarter and put it next to them, as you can see, they are the exact same size as a Canadian quarter. And when I put them together on their edges, you could see the sort of narrow lines that ring around the edge of the quarter on at least one. Actually, you can see them on both of the coins here. And then when I did manage to scrape off a lot of the gunk using a highly abrasive technique that most metal detectorists would turn up their nose at, I'm sure, but <laughs> I knew I didn't really have anything valuable here and I would almost certainly had a couple of Canadian quarters. So I tried to scrape off the junk as much as I could. And the one thing you can see are the tiny little dots that ring the very edge of the face of the coin that matches up with the regular quarter on at least one of these coins. The other one is pretty well gone in terms of anything recognizable on it. So between this probable 50 Canadian cents and that tent peg, I mean, this metal detector is practically paid for itself already. All in all, it was a fun, hot day at the beach. I did become quite the center of attention for a lot of men over the age of 50 who kind of wandered up and were curious about my metal detector. There was even one guy who didn't know what it was. He was like, is that a radar or something? I was like, no, it's a metal detector. There were a couple of younger people and one nice lady who also came up to ask questions about it. 
one young guy was kind of funny. He's just hanging out there smoking a joint. He's like, yeah, I've always wanted one of these. Give me something to do while I'm at the beach smoking a blunt and instead of just hanging out. And I chatted with him for a little bit. And then when I was all finished and carrying my stuff off the beach, I saw him kind of off to the side with a handful of other young guys. And I heard him go, that's the guy. <laughs> So it is kind of funny when you're at the beach with a metal detector, how many people are immediately curious as to what you're doing. It feels a little awkward at first, kind of pulling that out and just wandering around doing your thing on the beach while everyone's kind of just hanging out, working on their melanoma. And there is a sort of feeling of embarrassment, like you're drawing attention to yourself, but it turned out to be fun to just chat briefly with the people that were curious about it. I did discover there are a few accessories that I need to pick up. One thing that would be nice would be a pair of headphones headphones and when I briefly looked up headphones on YouTube they were talking about how the nice thing about headphones is they sort of keep out all the ambient noise so you can hear the signals that your detector is picking up and when I heard that I thought well I'd be more concerned actually with disturbing other people that are relaxing at the beach I feel awkward about walking around with this beep beep boop thing kind of when they're just hanging out trying to enjoy a nice sunny day at the beach but when I was actually there doing it I realized between the noise of the waves and the music that people are playing and the chatter and everything else it isn't always super easy to hear your own detector when you're standing with it and you're really not bothering other people with unnecessary ambient noise so it would be helpful to have that although I wouldn't necessarily want to block out the curious people who are interested in chatting about it because it is kind of fun to talk to people about it so something with maybe I could have like one year in some headphones just to hear what I'm doing a little bit better it would be really nice to have a proper sand filter device because basically once I've dug it out with my shovel and have a general idea where my item is, I have to kind of sift the sand through my fingers and it's surprisingly hard to find even a larger object like a bottle cap or a quarter when it's all coated with sand and it just looks like everything else that's there. So I was basically having to filter it through my fingers which was kind of a nuisance. If I had one of those sort of sand trap things that I could just rinse it in the water, let the water take away all the sand and, and just leave the larger items left in the little can. That would be so much easier. And then the final things relating to that, which would make my life a whole lot easier, would be a little pinpointer tool, which is sort of like a cylindrical narrow thing that basically is like a miniature metal detector that lets you pinpoint very accurately the location of an item because when I'm waving this big detector over an area I can narrow down the location of the item to within about the size of the metal detector itself but when I'm starting to dig out and try to pull something out of an area to be able to get that little pinpointer in there to get the exact location would make things so much easier and quicker because it did take me a lot of time every time I picked up a signal to dig out the area, sort of set aside separate piles of sand, check each pile individually, then narrow it down more by sifting the sand through my fingers. And it was kind of a lengthy process to find each of these items. So having a pinpointer and a proper kind of sand filter thingy would just make the process go a lot more quickly and more easily. So just a couple things to add to my shopping list. And one thing I would really like to find in terms of location is more of a historical site instead of just kind of wandering a beach sifting through sand to find bottle caps I would love to find a location that has some history on the off chance that I could maybe find some more historical artifacts and to dig something other than sand would be interesting too so I don't know I will have to do some research I've already done a bit of research to try to find such a thing but you seem to have to really dig deep to find stuff like that from my own experience other than a few kind of remote ghost town type locations that are in different parts of the province events or places that have just been kind of developed over and that sort of thing. The other challenge with that, of course, is are you getting into private property or public property or how do you get permission to get in there and detect and do some digging in there too? So I don't know, I'll see what I can find and I'm just really eager to do some very amateur archeology. span That's just something that's always kind of interested me a bit. Anyhow, that's what I have for my second metal detecting experience. It was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed checking it out with me. The preceding video has been brought to you free of charge by me, Josh. The only thing I ask in return is that you could do one of the following. Give me a thumb up, push the subscribe button, or share the link to this video with somebody who you think would enjoy it. Cheers. If there were any coin... My...
How did I get on that topic? I got, I mean, that metal detector.